My Aunt Sarah. Now she taught me about life. After I left the orphanage, she was the one person who cared for me. And she loved you. Now when her husband Jimmy Franchetti died, the family forgot about her. Except for the older guys. And me. Jack! Oh, I've been so worried about you. I heard you were gone and I... I feared the worst. You look thin. Have you been eating? You come on inside. Come on. You want some minestrone? Hmm? I know what's happened, Jackie. And you know how much I've always loved you. You know how I hate it when our family turns against each other like this. Aunt Sarah. I lost her. And what the hell am I gonna do without Jenny? It's terrible. I cleaned out her apartment. She was waiting for you, Jackie. Anyone but you could see it. Oh, you should have taken her away from this place when you had the chance. And now you've got to take care of it. I'm really sorry for the way things came out here, Sarah. Now you know that I never meant any disrespect to you and the family. But I'm gonna have to take a stand against Paulie and Eddie Schroet and punish them for what they did. I know. And some of the older men, they'll support your decision, Jackie. But you're gonna have to earn their trust. If you were to hurt Polly's operation, they might consider joining you. They want things back the way they used to be. I'm gonna tear his face off, Aunt Sarah. Pardon my language. But I'm gonna rip that dirty little motherfucker's face off and feed his lips to the fucking rats! But I can't kill that little fucking scumbag without your blessing. You know that. Well, kill is such a dirty word. But do what you have to do. And understand that you won't get to Polly unless you go through his police dog first. The only way to Paulie is through Captain Eddie Schroet. Now, I happen to know he has an apartment up by Gun Hill. And I spoke to Jimmy the Grape, and he's arranged for a man named Abe Hunter to let you into the building. And I suggest you go there and take up Jimmy's offer of help while you can. <laughs> It's like I have everything to live for, and nothing to gain. 
I got nothing worth having without you. But at least I got a purpose. And that's tearing Eddie Schroat into a thousand pieces. It's my reason to live. I want you to partake in. There are forces in this city. They're out to enslave us. To use us for their own dark purposes. The cops, the media, the politicians. They're all out to get us. Now what I want you to do is pick up a gun and shoot them all in the face. It's the only way. Kill them all, and you shall be free. Leave a message after the beep. side and a bad side. Now, he's killed and tortured a few people, but then again, you should see his bad side. Now, I try not to judge, but for what he did to you, both sides are as good as dead. Well, you took your sweet time, didn't you? I'm Abe Hunter. I don't know where the fuck you been. What? You hit traffic or something? All right. Schroet's up in his place. He's been there about an hour, maybe. Five will get you ten. He won't be expecting no company. Only about five people even know where he lives. Thanks for the info. Now, how do I get in? Listen. Ride up in the elevator and go straight in. Follow the stink. You can't fucking miss it. All right, here you go, pal. Okay, so you got the key to Schroet's apartment. The elevator's over there.
that. Who's up here? Timmy, 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 Timmy. <laughs> 